Hello and welcome to the Obscure Entertainment Network's coverage of the first race of the 2009 Arla Thunder Trucks season here at Joliet, Illinois. I'm Scott Bush alongside defending Arla Elite Series champion Chris Johans. Thank you, Scott. I think 2009 is going to be a very interesting year for this series. I mean, the field size has increased quite a bit, and we're, and they'll be racing on a lot more of the bigger tracks. In the past, uh, this was the biggest track they would run, and this year they're running at Blue Ridge in Michigan, both of which are two miles long. And I think this is going to help the, these guys get a lot more exposure. This race is scheduled to go 41 laps. That is 61 and a half miles around this 1.5 mile facility. And immediately after this event, the TM Master Cup Series will hit the track for their third round of the year. And I probably should be down in the garage helping my uh, McAllister team get ready for that race. But I've decided to stay up here and, and uh, try my hand at broadcasting. Over the course of the weekend, we've seen these Thunder Trucks uh, hit some of the highest speeds they've ever run, um, approximately 180 miles an hour through the turns. That is mainly because of the tire compound Rubber Dub Dub has brought and the downforce that these trucks produce. Many drivers have said that that's made these trucks really easy to drive around, the, uh, around this track, which probably explains why we see AJ Young up in fourth. Oh man, AJ Young. I know we're supposed to be neutral up here in the booth, but I've had the misfortune of racing that guy back in 2001. That was my rookie year. Young ran the first five races of the season in a second car for Michael White Racing. In those five races, he managed to cause 32 wrecks. I, I can still remember the exact number of accidents he caused, and I got caught up in about 15 of those. Everyone in the garage was just so relieved when Michael kicked him off the team. Well, here he is in Arlo once again. Hopefully he isn't the worst race car driver in America anymore, as so many people have called him. Looking at the grid, I see some more of my old competitors. Um, Aaron Cruz, Mitchell Hill, uh, Daryl Sullivan to name a few. I also see Matt Pearson, who's been absolutely awesome in these lower tier series, but... Just hasn't been able to make it in the big leagues. Well, Chris, the engines have just been fired. Let's get this race started. Thurston Blood, who is making his first start in this series, qualifies on the pole. Great run for that number, new number 12 team. I see I Hacks You, another new team in that fifth spot. Great qualifying run for him. Wait, what was the name of that driver in fifth? I Hacks You. He is an administrator on the website LeetHacksource.com. And he requested that his username on that site be used instead of his real name in scoring. Well, I knew that, but I did not know how to pronounce that until now. You don't go on the internet much, do you, Scott? Up in midfield, I see that 42 car Phineas Marshall. He was supposed to share the number, t the number 42 ride with Laura Cyrus in the r -Light Elite Series, but due to Cyrus's success in that series, um... It was decided that Cyrus would go full-time in the Elite Series, while Marshall would run, would run the full schedule in the Thunder Trucks. Looking back up front, I see that number 80 truck of Earl McDermott. For those of you who are new viewers of the Obscure Entertainment Network, McDermott calls the Arla Elite Series races with me, and is running the full Thunder Trucks schedule this year. He's also pretty good in the Elite Series. And here we go, the green flag is out here at Joliet for the first race of the 2009 Arla Thunder Truck season. Sorry to cut you off there, Chris. It's alright, Scott. Earl McDermott got a great start in that 80, and here he comes to take the lead from, from Blood going into turn 1. I see Mitchell Hill in the 03, and I hacks you in the 37, trying to make a 3 wide on Aaron Cruz coming off of turn 2. And here comes Hill in the 03, he's got to run, he's going to take the lead away from McDermott. Ricky Gonzalez and Taylor Brillen fall on the inside. Oh, we got a little mix-up behind the, behind the leaders, and we've got problems! Zach McCormick in the 99 and Daryl Sullivan in the 39 both have damage. And there is Joey Harris in the 25. He's, he uh, spun that truck out. I believe Aaron Fisher might have gotten a piece of that. Oh, what is this? I hacks you is around in turn two. Damage to the back of the 37 truck. The 37 was spun after he uh, took the yellow flag, so he will rejoin the field in his original position, which was, I believe, sixth. Lap one chaos here at Joliet. 
We will go back, and look at the replay, and see how this started. Matt Pearson, the two, gets into the back of AJ Young in the 93, collecting uh, Michael Madrigal and, and uh, Kyle Hanover. I would also like to point out that this was the little slam fest that took place in front of the actual wreck. These guys were lucky to have not wrecked themselves. And now this is what brought the yellow flag out. We see Mike McKay, the 14. He gets into Lucas Sweeney coming out of turn four. Hooks and turns the eight into the 99. The 99 and the 39 get together and the 25 goes around. Fortunately, this wreck wasn't nearly as, bi as big of as it could have been. Um, very few cars received damage. And now we are riding on board. Joey Harrison, the 25. There you see the field checks up. And that's probably what triggered this incident. Elton McDonald, the 83, goes flying through that wreck. And I was, I was right. The 90 of Aaron Fisher did get caught up in that. And now let's take a look at that second incident um, involving I Hacks You in the 37. They have just taken the yellow flag, and Aaron Cruz decides to make it 4 wide. The 63 of Taylor Brillen has nowhere to go, and uh, spins the 37 up into the wall. Brillen really didn't have much room there, but I don't see why she didn't just back off. She had taken the yellow flag and was not in any danger of losing spots. And, uh, Brillen drives for your team, M&J, doesn't she? Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to her about that later. In the meantime, let's step out for a commercial break. Your current leader is Mitchell Hill. Stick around, folks.